Hi everyone, it's Nicole Slater just getting here to work and um, you know I, I was thinking about on my way here what I would paint and and I think I'm going for the same thing I did yesterday which is keeping it simple but um, but again working with the idea of, of the feeling of landscapes, working on colors that my main uh, study and texture and then of course you know you'll get the idea that that is a landscape in the picture so that's what I'm running with and we'll see in a few minutes okay thanks for being here so here we are once again day number 25 I'm excited so my um, original idea like I was saying earlier I want to keep it pretty simple but focus on texture and um, just the overall idea of color. So I don't know why, but again, I, I'm i loving this purple mixed with some of the red, um, the violet mixed in with the red oxide and maybe even some yellow. So that, I'm kind of thinking that direction. Um, and I think I'm keeping my sky a little bit more on the gray blue side again. I, I kind of liked that in my last work um, and again I'm striving for keeping it simple so I put in some blue here I'm, I'm going to work in some black and um, some people mix it in the palette like I talked about in my last video um, I, I kind of know what they do when they apply together um, merge onto the actual canvas as opposed to mixing it so I'm, I'm going to keep it this way for that reason and I want my sky I'm gonna go kind of real moody with this so I'm purposely if you notice I'm kind of really moving my brush and kind of just letting it happen I'm not forcing anything I'm just kind of letting things happen um, and I like going in different directions that way I, I have different um, powder marks and I'm not repeating and I'm just playing uh, I think along with this now I'm going to start adding in just a little bit of my purple in here and uh, kind of get that mood back in with a little bit more black and then I'll apply some more white back on top again so just again getting the, a, a, a feeling of a mood that's, that's, that's all I'm doing right now just playing so um, So yesterday my takeaway was to just be yourself and that's that's the whole idea of this whole challenge and because I've had some people I say well why are you so much work oh my gosh Nicole why are you doing all this and you know I'm teaching doing other things too but I truly believe that to become a better artist it's just practice and um, I don't care how much you, time you've done or how good you are or you know if you're if you're a serious artist you always want to continue learning just like with anything you just continued learning is just it's a it's just such a good thing to have and um, just like our personalities you know and with everything else in life we change you know and and change is good and sometimes change causes you to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and the thing I like about that is that that's telling me that I'm still growing and the minute that I'm too content it kind of almost makes me a little nervous because I start wondering okay <laughs> okay things are a little bit too easy right now I need to like change things up and not, not that I'm a pessimist I just you know I think that sometimes you you get a little too content and then you got to just go outside your box a little bit because again we're, we're here once in our life to enjoy this world you know and this is my my time to to do what I love and enjoy and share it with you and I really appreciate you being a part of it it, it means a lot to me um, and I, I wish I could could explain it even better in words how appreciative I am but um, I'm just glad you're here I'm really glad you're here so anyway as you can see I'm applying my greens and my blues and I just really liked that fresh look I had yesterday so I want to continue that and I, I, I really in, there's something magical when you get that crisp but also you get a little dramatic with the black and the gray so you get those neutrals and then you get this pop of color and real crisp I, I really like that so that's what I'm kind of uh, emulating right here right now and uh, 
so far I'm liking it. Again, I, I don't know exactly where I'm taking this. I, I, I know I like it, and so I'm going to continue doing this. Um, there are times when I have to step back and say, you know, it's not working in my direction. Um, but I don't, I don't ever get frustrated necessarily when that happens. I used to. There was a time when I get really frustrated because I didn't realize that for, out of frustration, beautiful things happen, and I would force things. So I'd make it happen before it was really my time, I think, to happen. So I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes you have to go through these weird growing stages. I called it, you know, for me it was just that, you know, learning stage, that frustration of learning. And those, those times, even though they were frustrating, probably were the best times because I was so naive to things. I, I didn't understand, you know, the right from wrong. And, the, and that's the beauty of it. That's why a new beginning artist is a wonderful artist because you're not jaded by the past. You're just going into it naive and, and with fresh eyes. You know, it's like a child. It's you know, that's that's the one thing I know that seasoned painters strive for. They want to paint like a child again, and I'm always wanting to do that. To me, when you play and paint, that that's a beautiful thing because you get so um, you get too. If you paint all the time and you become too educated, it's almost like. I, there's times when sure it works in your favor, but there's also a time when you just want to play and and then you have these I call them voices, you know, you have these voices in your head saying well, you're not supposed to do that And I'm like I want to do that. So that this is this is a great time You know for you if you're a beginning painter just really enjoy it while you can it's you know those are times that you you're gonna look back and really appreciate your where you are now and so that's pretty cool I'm kind of jealous of that I think that's those were good old days I'll tell you these are fun too it's just a whole different different kind of fun okay so I like this and what I've been doing is just kind of working my way towards the back and I'm 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 happy so far I keep changing my brushes because I'm doing wet on wet and I don't want the paints to get too muddy so if you see me changing a lot of my paint brushes, it's not necessarily so much that the paint brush is making a difference with what I'm doing, the the shape or the style, is truly because I just am grabbing it because that's I don't want to pause on the video and have you wait for me to to clean all my brushes for the next color. So I'm I'm just doing this for video's sake, and um, so I, I like this a lot. Um, so at this stage, this is where I start asking myself, okay, well, what, what did I represent here? What is this, what is this meaning to me? It's a quiet day. I mean, this is to me like a dream, a dream walk. This would be like, um, a day where I discovered a beautiful place to be quiet and relax. So I, I like this a lot. Um, so now I'm coming in and I just want to get some darker just get some darker in this foreground here and uh, just play with that and um, uh, it already kind of draws my eye I mean <laughs> I'm pretty much done here um, I, I, I love the scratching in so I'm gonna do some of that and Again, this whole concept or this whole challenge for me was I really want to work on the idea of texture. So right now you're seeing me kind of play with that idea. And I can come back in with my brush after I do some of this again. Because sometimes I'll do something like that I didn't really care for. So I'm going to come back in in a minute and go back over it. So not a big deal. And and again, maybe if I were starting out, I, I would have thought, oh, I ruined it. You know, that was, I remember one time a teacher saying, oh, well, we have to start over. You, you ruined it or something like that. And I remember thinking, wow, that was, that was hard for a new student like myself to hear. I, I didn't, I've never, it was um, frustrating. And I never want to be that person. I never want to be that instructor that that tells a student that because I don't believe that it's ever too late. You can fix paintings. There's there's no such thing as not being able to fix a painting. Um, 
it might not be the intention or the original intent of what it originally looked like. It might even be better, but it's not, it's not that it's ruined. You're just doing it different is all. And uh, so that's, that's something I really want to embrace and remember. And again, from negative experiences, I, I grow from that. So for me, it was probably the best thing that happened because I know that that's the kind of teacher I never want to be. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, uh, so again, I'm, I'm loving, I'm loving this and I, I like the textures that are happening. Um, I'm going to do some scraping in on here. And some people will say, well, why are you scraping? Why are you scribbling and why are you doing that? It's just what I see. It's, it's maybe not what you want to do. And that's, that's what this is all about. I want you to do your own paintings but this is just to help I want you to be able to see that I'm not I'm not trying to make a masterpiece I'm just playing in paint and and that's the key is that you want to play and have fun and you know the minute you get so stressed out it's not fun and then you might as well not not paint you know you just want to be able to be that child again and enjoy it so okay I like that Yeah, this is cool. So as far as like the overall feeling or the mood, again, I like things that draw me back and I, I, I'm I happy with pretty much everything. I have a big brush here and I will do some of my, what I call my manipulating of the paint and merging of the paint. And, um, but again, I like this dramatic uh, cloud formation or sky, so I'm not, trying to necessarily get rid of the whole thing. I'm just kind of giving it a little brush here and there. And uh, these will be up on my blog and on my website if you're interested in both purchasing or just seeing it up close. Videos are tough because <clears throat> I want, I, you know, I'm trying to be far enough back for some students because they said they want to see what brushes I'm grabbing or, or the paint that I'm using. So I purposely have the video back a little further. The, the negative part to that is then you're not seeing as much detail. And for me, I'm a detailed girl. So it might not matter to you guys, but for me, when I, when I watch someone paint, I like being a little closer. So in the comments, if you would like for me to go back to being closer, great. Um, for now though I've had some people that want it for further away so that's why I'm, I'm doing this now and that can change we can I can do some far away and some close we can kind of kind of do both so anyhow um, yeah so that looks really fun I don't know if you can see it and I'll make some changes off camera just because that gives me some time to focus on areas and um, you know, it's kind of like with anything else. You can talk and talk and talk and and that's fine. But when you have to focus, I recommend that you kind of just take your time and really just listen to your voice and go with what your heart tells you to do. So um, I'm going to do that next. And I, I thank you once again for being here. And I look forward to hearing your comments. And hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, same bat channel, same bat time. I try to do these around the same time of the day. It doesn't always happen, but, um, but we'll see. Okay, very good. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Thanks again. Bye. Okay, number 25 is down, and it's up on my wall over there. And I'm excited, and overall, I would say my takeaway was keep it simple. Um, I went with the idea of a landscape, but keeping it um, so that it wasn't, I wanted it to be soft and I wanted it to be expression of a landscape, but you can't, there's not anything that's really saying, okay, this is a landscape or, or a certain area of a landscape that's standing out in particular. I just wanted it to kind of be an abstraction of, of a landscape and that's what I did. So takeaway again just you know stick with the plan and and if not then roll with the punches so if, if things changed I after I got off camera I, I made a mistake and I kind of worked or manipulated the colors almost too much so then I spent a little more time um, 
kind of putting things back and in the beautiful thing of it is it actually turned out better than I thought um, and I probably couldn't have gotten there unless I had gone through that awkward stage that it went through um, but I think I could have had a beautiful painting if I hadn't uh, manipulated or played with it too much so it, it, the takeaway is it could have been pretty just the way it was I went in and did a little too much so then I had to work a little harder to get it back so um, yeah so keep it simple stick with the plan if it feels right at the beginning don't mess with it just let it ride so thanks again for being here take care bye